Hello. So in this tutorial series, what I'm going to do is show you how to extend Sebastian Lake's pathfinding system so that we can place buildings at runtime and have units respond to those buildings. I'll show you what I mean. Press play. Okay, so let's turn on gizmos. The FPS is going to drop a lot, and that's just because of the gizmos. It's not because of um, the code. You have this unit moving around. So far, this is 100% um, Sebastian Legs work. I haven't done any of this. What I added was the ability to instantiate a building and have the unit recalculate its path around the building. So the nodes directly underneath the building turn into unwalkable nodes and then it detects if that building intersects uh, an active path and forces the unit to recalculate the path. If you don't have that sort of path recalculation code what will happen um, is the player will just smash through the building because as far as it's concerned those nodes are walkable as it was calculated when the path began and that's not too much of an issue because the next time you make a path it will definitely navigate around those nodes are now unwalkable nodes um, according to the pathfinding calculation what is a problem is that if you put the building on top of the target node and if you do that and don't recalculate a path the unit will go into the building and then be stuck in a sort of sea of unwalkable nodes and won't be able to move. So if you want some sort of dynamic pathfinding solution, you definitely need to have that sort of recalculation code. Otherwise, your game is just a massive bug waiting to happen. Okay, so in as far as uh, stress tests go, what I've done so far is I have tried this out with 60 guys. I didn't do more than 60 uh, for two reasons. One, 60 is about the population of the town that I'm going to try and have. And also, this entire situation of 60 people moving towards a single node and walking the same or very similar paths is not realistic. It's not what I'm going to be facing in the game itself. Um, when I move a group of people, they'll move in formations. AI will be doing different things around the map. Some will be moving towards craft stations, others towards trees, stockpiles, into buildings, that sort of stuff. So this entire situation of 60 people moving from exactly from the same start location to the same end location and usually across exactly the same path simply won't happen. Um, so let's just look what happens with 60 people. Let's get stats up. And you can see that the FPS doesn't really drop. I know this isn't the best way to test performance, but it is a good way. During my tests, I've seen it drop to like 50 when you put a house down. So obviously something's changed. I can't tell you exactly what. Oh, they go a little bit crazy. They kind of go backwards and forwards a bit there. Not quite sure why that happens at this stage. But that's quite fast. You know, like I put that right next to them and straight away they recalculate the path. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's not perfect. As I said, they do do that sort of like backwards and forwards motion. Like that. They sort of go backwards and forwards a little bit. But again, this whole situation of all these people moving to the same node from the same node across a very similar path is, is not something the final game is going to allow. Okay, so what I'll do now, if, you're, if you like what you see and you want to have something similar in your game or your prototype, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how to download all the files and then set up a project so your project is exactly the same as mine and you can have the same behavior as what I have. Okay, let's get started.